Today's video was meant to be me building a cosy Christmas cottage in The Sims 4, but all that did was remind me that I'm not a builder and I never will be. So instead, I'm sat here in my Tesco Christmas jumper thinking about Brandy Broke from The Sims 2. When you first load up the game, she's a single mother of two, she's got a third one on the way, and her husband's dead, so things aren't going very well. I can't leave my girl in that position, so we're getting into that household. We're going to turn things around for her, and I'll make it a bit Christmassy too, because this video is coming out on Christmas Eve. So let's go fix Brandy's life, and let's jump into it. So Brandy was left to raise two boys alone following her husband's suspicious pool ladder accident. With dusting acting out, can Brandy teach young Bo to make the right choices in life? She fucking better we're trying to fix her life here, so if it doesn't, it's a bad reflection on us. Bo broke is growing fast, and Brandy wants to teach him all the skills he needs to stay out of trouble. Pick on Bo to teach him to walk and fulfil wants for both sims. Alright, I'll teach you to walk. I'm not going to teach you to talk because that's annoying as fuck. <laughs> I guess we just speed through this. Yeah, Dustin, you just make a shitload of noise over there. We'll teach the kid to walk. Oh, he's done. Right, well, you're a very fast learner. Strong legs. What I do need to do, though, is make this a bit more festive because it's looking pretty depressing in here. I'm not going to lie. I forgot to turn the seasons to winter, so I've done that. But I also added a Christmas tree and a wreath. Oh, and the Christmas cookie thing. Time to get you a job. I know that you're secretly pregnant. I know you don't know, but I know. And there's no point in you being a bum. I get it. You've got kids. Whatever. Loads of people have kids. Get a job. I don't mean that. But I do for Brandy. Where's my newspaper? I don't need one, actually. Hold on. Get this computer. Stop reading to your kid. You can't even talk yet. Oh, well. She's been sick. Did you get the computer at least? Yeah, good. Not to look like I don't care or anything, but I don't. She can work in music, law, journalism, law enforcement, military. <laughs> I don't want any of those jobs. She's got really high cooking skills, so I thought it'd be good to make her a chef. Do you know what? Actually, I'm taking military because it pairs well. And then I'll just take that maternity pair straight away. Don't mind me. Why am I telling him off? Have you got bad grades? You're C+. Oh, you are an actual criminal. But other than that, you're doing really well. Let me just quickly change my baby's diaper next to this floor pizza that I've got. There we go. Pepperoni and shit. My favourite topping. I'll put you back up here. With a little one the way, Brandy's been placed on maternity leave. Now it's time to kick back and get a little rest and relaxation before the big day. Because Brandy definitely needs more fucking rest and relaxation. She hasn't done shit. But I will take that money. Angela, I am so sorry. I was sick on that toilet seat and I didn't tell you before you've used it. But that's fine. You've not even pulled your dress up. So at least it's only your clothes that are stained and your legs are fine. Dusty. How can we get you better for work? Because you don't have work today. Creativity. But I'm going to get you painting. Once Brandy's needs are good, I'm going to send her downtown. We're going to find her a husband or wife, actually, so she doesn't have any more of these fucking accidental kids. Then we're going to get the kids into private school, and we're going to get enough money to make this house into an actual nice house. So you're even going to see a little bit of remodeling from me, which is not my thing, but uh, <laughs> you're going to see it. Whether you want to or not. Okay, see you, kid. I'm going out. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Brandy wants to sell a great novel. I'm going to make her right now that we have that computer. So we can get paychecks from the job that we've never been to while we're writing. Also, she's going to shake that baby up like a good old passion scrambled egg inside of the shell by going on this. I didn't tell her to do this. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't warn you. That baby is coming out with 10 IQ after being smashed around so much. She wants to roast the marshmallow on this, which is pretty strange, but I'm not going to deny her pregnancy cravings, all right? Please don't start a fire. I don't know if you can hear, but <laughs> please don't. Let's go for a dance. I've got my eyes on you, Asia. Yeah, it's happening. All right, let's hang out. We'll just sit on the floor of this club because that's not disgusting. You are simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know. Brandy, your reputation is on its way up. I always forget this reputation thing exists. Here, reputation. An amicable acquaintance. But I don't know how it's gone up so high from just talking to a couple of people. Where's Asia gone? Oh, girl after my own heart. Look at you, girl. Oh, Brandy, it looks like you're gaining some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way soon. What is happening? <laughs> I've spoken to one person. How can people think I'm a good sim? I'm in a nightclub while I'm pregnant, which to be fair, I would respect if I saw. Are they going to still think I'm good when I'm smashing booze into my pregnant bloodstream? Let's find out. Yeah, delicious. All right, I'll have a quick piss and then I'm going home because I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I am pregnant. Don't know if I've mentioned that. I am pregnant. But at least now I've met Asia and I'm going to see if I can win her over. Does she want to be a mother to three kids? Because I need the help and I don't want to hire a nanny again because I've done that just to go out to that club. The nanny's only just arrived, so I better not have to pay her much or anything. Oh, good for cleaning up though. Appreciate that. Nannies never do shit usually. I want to see how much this costs, but I'm really struggling to dismiss her because she keeps reading the fucking newspaper. Oh, you bitch. How did you know? <laughs> Is that because I'm about to fire you? Oh, it's free. I'll take that. Pay bills and then go to bed. Also, put your kid to sleep before you go to sleep. No, stop. <laughs> All right, j fuck it. Just stay in bed. I do not care anymore. Dustin, how are you getting on? You managed to finish your homework before school. Still a C plus. Dummy you. I'm going to lock in get into private school because we are, are going to make him do that. Also, finish this painting, please. Painting complete. Sells for 10, but he's going to work. 
What a busy life you've got. I'll just keep neglecting my toddler and sleep here. It's fine. Oh, Brandy, I know you've only just got pregnant, but can you hurry up and pop this baby out? Because our knees are dropping constantly. And Dustin didn't get a promotion. Why are you not good at anything? Actually, while I'm at it, I'm sick of people trying to play on the pinball machine. And I want the money. I'm taking that. That is very expensive. Why do I earn that when we don't earn anything else? Oh, shit. Bo's grown into a child. Well, I'll keep the crib because I do need it. Actually, I'm going to put it in a place that makes sense so it's not clipping through that curtain anymore. Let's stick you there. I hate that. Let's see if it's still usable with cheats. At least for the time being, I don't have to deal with the screaming toddler. Let's call everyone to the meal. This is as much looking after as you're getting, all right? You're getting burnt hamburgers and you'll deal with it. Now I'm going to start writing my first novel and it's going to be awful. So I need to wait for this fear to go before I sell it because <laughs> it will not go well. I want this to be a family friendly book. So it's about a city that gets bombed. And upon investigation, we find out a baby did it and they get arrested. And Bo, I'm sorry. I know you're not tired now, but you are going to have to sleep in the same bed as your mum until we can afford another one. I mean, I can afford another one, but I'm not giving you it. Brandy has the night off. Yes, I know. She has every day off because she's never going to work. Bo's already up, so I'm just going to make him clean everything. <laughs> Sorry, this is your life. And before they go to school, I'll keep writing my novel. Oh, if you fuck up my novel, I swear to Christ. What are you doing? Browse web for film and literature. Get a life. <laughs> go make a friend. Have you got anyone at school that you know? You don't know anyone. And the baby's coming. Oh, oh, the cab flown up and... Huh? What? Sibley? Oh, and Dustin got promoted as well. Baby boy. Do you know what? It's Joe. I'd say Joe because I'm Northern, but it's Joe. As in, Joe broke. Now, I want to test if this works. So, Joe, go in your crib. Great to have you. <laughs> Straight in bed. I can't be asked to look after you. Dustin, I'm going to make you serve food for us. Because Brandy can't do everything, you know? Even though she's done fuck all. Dustin, you just leave the baby on the floor. There you go. Have I fed him? Yes. Go to bed. I'm not dealing with this. Trying to get some me time over here. Carpool for Brandy comes in an hour. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to it. Do I have any vacation days, even though I've done nothing? I've got three. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going. Where is my baby? Oop. <laughs> Sorry, we keep leaving you there. I don't know why. I could afford a maid. I've made quite a lot of money doing this. Nothing. I don't really know what I've been doing, but I've been quite a lot of money. Justin's doing extremely well in school, which is good. That means I can not give attention to him anymore. Okay, it's five o'clock. Time to call Asia. I'm sure she's free now. Just talk for now. We'll invite over immediately after we've finished talking. There we go. Friends already. Oh, I finished my book. That took a long time. What was my book about again? Oh yeah, baby destroyed a city. Honey, my baby destroyed... New York. Honey, my baby destro. Honey, New York gone. And that's the blurb. A baby did it. Okay, well, that was great fun. You broke my fucking novel writing computer. You little shit. Go over there. Oh, she already has mechanical. Right, just get started then. Fix it. Um, no, don't write a novel. I'm calling Asia. We're going on a date. She's at work. Fucking, she never gets a day off. She try doing what I do and just get pregnant. This book's all about skiing. I just love skiing. Is this about my book? Oh, answer it. Greeting. Brandy's novel is selling somewhat well, although it's still not a bestseller. Here's the royalty check for 2,000 simoleons. Yes, good. All right. It's definitely date night now. Oh, Joe grew up and he's bald. Anyway, see you, kid. Mama needs to find you another mom. Okay, Asia, I know I'm ignoring you and going straight to pool, apparently, but what do you want? Pillow fight, play, tickle. You're a playful gal, aren't you? All right, I'll tickle you. And then we'll pillow fight immediately after. Because I brought my own pillows from home for this date, just in case things went really well and we couldn't find a bed. Now she wants to gain a skill point. I can't help you with that one, but we can bowl together. This is already not going well. I'm running out of time. Right, I'm time. I'm getting my flare on. Stop bowling. Quick. I'm going to completely ruin this game for these people. <laughs> just flirt in front of here. Okay, we're good. The date's got a bit more time. She wants to kiss and make out, you dirty dog. All right. I just realized this is a really quiet bowling alley, but it's fine. I'm kissing in the toilet, so <laughs> everything's going exactly the way I wanted it to. Okay, we've hit dream date. I'm ending it here. Holy cow, I never knew a date could be that much fun. You're a total dream to spend time with. We just got to do that again, baby. And she fell in love with me, so <laughs> going to be easy winning you over when you come to my house because that'll be happening very soon. All right, now we're home. Dustin, I'll get you to work out. Brandy, you've got some flowers from Asia because she's obsessed with you. Actually, while you're here, can I talk to you? No, you're being a sneaky gal. Fair enough. Brandy, you keep working on your novels because we are making quite a bit of money from it. Or at least I hope we will soon. We've finished another book. I can't remember what I did this one about, so I'm just calling it The Book. Sell these flowers. Anything for cash. I'm going to keep writing. I'm going to improve the house soon. And then I'm going to get the kids into private school. Hey, Dustin, you go to work. I'm not even going to read it. I'm placing the bet. And I've won 400 smillions. <laughs> I am just... 
attracting money, that positive mindset. Really working out for me, but shit, answer this quick. Please be about my book. We're a bit disappointed with Brandy's novel. It's getting bad reviews, but we still got almost two grand. It's much, not much different from the last one. Keep writing a novel. This one's going to be the one. But Dustin got promoted and he's reached the top of the criminal career track and I am taking it. I don't care if he's a naughty boy. Dustin's making quite a lot of money from selling paintings as well, so this is going well. You've just been watching TV for years. Hold on, might as well get you painting too while we're here. <laughs> Fuck it. So I'm going to use my last vacation day. I'll quit tomorrow, but I am a model employee, but I've never been. So we've got a little bit child labour here, but I'm not too bothered by it. You know, we're still looking after our kids, kind of. I've not changed Joe in years. Let me change his diaper. Okay, come on. Big paycheck. Fuck off. <laughs> this is the admin part of the video, but we will be moving things on pretty soon. I finished another book. I'm going to call this book title two, The Bookening. Fine, I'll just call it book two. I can't have a colon in it. Book two. There we go. 2,800 simoleons for the book that we're selling now. Yeah, I should really start caring for Joe because he's going to age up soon and I've done nothing for him. I'll teach you how to walk. I'll change your diaper, shitty ass, and then I'll teach you how to walk. Oh, this feels festive. Let me go and talk to this penguin. Come here. I'll pet you. Fuck teaching Joe how to walk. Oh, he just pissed. I'll pet you after this. Where are you going? Stop sidestepping away from me like that. Come back. <laughs> Please. No. Oh. All right, I'll teach this prick how to walk then. Oh, look at you wearing Christmas pyjamas. See, it was meant to be. It's festive here. There you go. Now you won't grow up so badly. See, platinum aspiration. I'll lock in, grow up well, because you will. And I best get working on my novel, because tomorrow morning, it's all about marrying Asia. Dustin selling pictures for 84 simoleons now. Okay, kids, go to school. Brandy, try and teach this kid to uh, use the potty as quickly as we can, unless he's already gone. No, he hasn't yet. He's about to, but he hasn't. There you go. Go to the toilet. Do not cheer. So a poor attempt. So let's try that again. Is he too tired for this? Probably. He's about to fall asleep on the floor. Wake up, Joe. I need you to do a shit. Oh, do you know what? I don't care. Go to bed. Do it my head in. Oh, answer the call. Answer the call. I don't even know how many books I've sold, so I don't know what's what anymore. Nice. 3,200 simoleons. We are raking in the cash now. Okay, I've got no more vacation days left, so quick work. Nearly five o'clock and that's when I will win Asia over. Can my friend come over too? No. <laughs> I'm about to propose to you in the nicest house you've ever seen. Turn that off. It's so loud. I'll have a quick make out, then propose. Eh? <laughs> Can I not marry you? Are you married already? I swear to Christ, if you are, I am done. There we go. I'm in love. That was the issue. Proposed engagement. Next to the Christmas tree. Very festive. I mean, I'm blocking it quite a lot, but still. <laughs> Joined union because same-sex marriage wasn't a thing in this, and I've just remembered. You love to see it. Good for you, girls. She's moved in with 14,000 civilians. Good. Immediately start looking after this kid for me. So it's time to get the kids into private school. But first things first, this place needs a remodel, which actually means everyone get out. Stop running with that baby, you're going to fall. So this is what it looks like right now. It's literally just a trailer and I don't want to see that anymore. I also want to see it in the day. So let's quickly... There we go. I'll start by turning this into a nice little redstone building. Not overly nice, but uh, it's better than the shack walls that she had. This is going to take a while. I'm going on quite a bit of a renovation spree here. I'm trying to keep it realistic though, so there's not much of an extension to the house. Also, that's a good excuse for me to not have to do too much because I can't build, as you know. There we go. We're going to have ourselves a nice little country kitchen, but it isn't amazing, but it's in. <laughs> now we need a little entranceway. I can push these back a bit to make this the living room. We'll have the main bedroom and... Oh, hold on. Get rid of these. But yeah, we'll have the main bedroom still there. I'll probably make this a different size too. Do you know what? I'm just going to remodel it all because I just don't like it. I've been concentrating so much that I forgot to speak, but I've managed to get like the entrance where here. It looks quite nice. Got to throw in some wall decoration, I think. I want to say it looks quite nice. It does look dated, but I was trying to make it look dated. So don't come at me for that one though. This one was on purpose. Make these rooms smaller. Let's get rid of the potty because I literally never use it. Dustin's headed off to college soon. He doesn't need a bed. This is going to become the kids room. I am running out of money a bit, but I don't have too much more to do. I'm going to finish the living room, turn this into a nursery, and then Brandy's room is a decent size there. She doesn't need all the space she's got already. Also, I'm going to leave Brandy's room the way it is because she clearly likes it that way, and it's not because I can't be asked. Don't tell me it is because it's not. I want the living room to be quite a bright space because I feel like Brandy has lived so much of her life in a little shithole. She deserves it. Everything in this room is cream. It's tacky, but there's nothing you can do to stop me from doing it. So that can be the living room for now. And when I say for now, I probably won't do anything else to it because I don't really have much money left at all. Brandy, your room is awful, but you that's what you want, girl. You keep it. We don't really care about the nursery, do we? I mean, honestly, though, if you're wondering why I've been so quiet while I've been doing this build, it's because I'm absolutely fucking rocking out to these tunes. I'm loving them. I didn't realize how, much, how good they were. What kind of pictures do babies have on the wall? Babies love fish. I'm not going to go and do the landscaping because I just, I can't be arsed. That's actually drained me doing this. But we've got the entrance where we've got the kitchen, kids room. Living room, bathroom's good enough. Oh, it does need a small window, actually. But other than that, 
Brandy's bedroom and the nursery, which is pretty bland, but it's fine. It's probably going to be enough to impress the headmaster because next we need to get the kids into private school. I need to add lights. <laughs> I knew I forgot something, but that is it after that. And with 185 simoleons to spare, we are done. I hate that I've used different colors lights here now, but I'm not going back for it. All right. It's pretend it's festive. That's why I've done it. So I just need to invite the headmaster around and he should come around tomorrow. What's Brandy's cooking skill? Because I know it's high. Eight out of 10. That's good. All right. The local private school headmaster is interested in coming over for dinner. Do you feel like entertaining? If so, there might be an admittance to the private school in the works. Good. I'll be over for dinner tomorrow at 5 p.m. Why don't I set the time that you come around, you rude prick? Just today, I'm really sorry you don't actually have a bed, but <laughs> you'll be okay. Oh, hang on. When he gets out of that chair, he's stuck because he goes to the right for some reason. Go here. Done. Be silly. You're being silly. There you go. If you want to watch TV in your room, you've got to look straight past your moon lamp and you won't get a good view of it. But you've got TV in your room, so you're more spoiled than most kids. Oh, please. Asia, you've only just moved in. Extinguish because I did not install fire alarms because I always forget fire and burglar alarms. They're just not my thing. But I did put bin in, <laughs> if that helps. Okay, you're not done yet, girl. Keep going. Absolutely nothing to worry about. Yeah, just don't take the food off the stove. Go stuff your face some more. Oh, shit. Joey's freezing. Um, who put him there? When I said I was giving Brandy the life she deserved, didn't think she deserved to have her kids taken away. So, Joe, if you could stay inside, please, that'd be just fantastic. Vince, the headmaster, has arrived for dinner. Good luck. You should prepare a tasty dinner and show Vince a good time. Maybe you could give Vince a tour of the house. How many times do you want to say Vince? I get it. What's your name again? Pete, welcome to my home that was a shithole two minutes ago and it's still kind of a shithole. Entertain by giving you a tour. Look at that. Coincidentally, someone's playing some beautiful music for you. Yeah, I like this room, don't you? 17 just from that room. Okay, this is good. This, this makes me feel better about my own building. <laughs> Joe room. I thought you'd love the country kitchen. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, we're getting into this private school for definite. Here is the living room. It's a bit shit. Hold on. Let me just drag in something nice. It's just floating in the room, but you'll still think it looks good. Joe room. You love it because it defied physics, don't you? Hold on. Let me put it back. I cheated that to put that in the position. I wanted it and now it's not where I want it, but it's worth it. Now I'll show you my room. This one feels weird. It's not a very nice room. <laughs> oh, never mind. You fucking love it, don't you? Thanks for the tour. It was great to get to see the house. You're so welcome. Okay, now I need to cook you something. Serve. Oh, yes, I can make turkey. Vince, if you could get out of my bedroom now. The tour was not inviting you to stay there. It was just inviting you to look. Ah, shit, my kid grew up. But at least I'll get into private school, I guess. Turkey is done. Vince, come and be amazed. Entertain. Call for dinner. Oh. I got fat. Can you finish your food so I know if we've got in or not? Otherwise, I have to schmooze some more. Oh, look at that score. Oh, you just shook her hand quite hard because she had to immediately go for a wrist arthritis or something. The headmaster is impressed with your family. Joe, Bo, and Dustin all got into private school. Yeah. Well, I think that's good for me. The kids got a stepmom that they wanted. They all got into private school. Brandy became a best-selling author in the meantime, and she got nice and plump from eating one too many turkeys, which is perfect. It's Christmas. And while the house isn't amazing, we did manage to make it a bit better. So we gave Brandy the life she deserved. And I'm going to end it there. So there you go. At least I managed to improve Brandy's life a little bit. It might not have been amazing, but it's better than it was because she was struggling before. But as we reach the end of another year, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of the channel. It really, really does mean a lot. We just hit 10k a little bit ago. I've been doing this since just before Christmas last year. And the fact that 10,000 people even want to watch this is beyond me. But um, I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hope you have a really Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you enjoy whatever it is you're doing in the next couple of weeks. I'll still be posting on Sundays. But yeah, thank you very much again. And thanks for joining me for another one. So I'll catch you in the next one and I'll see you then.